good morning so today we are going to discuss the shell model potential and the nucleonic configuration in shell model we know the property of the nuclear force which is very strong when they are near means when they are within the limit of the nuclear dimension when they are far apart means they are at a distance greater than the nuclear dimension uh, there will be no force so considering this property this saturation property we assume an infinite well potential here a spherical well potential for the nuclear force that is the potential is zero at r less than a and it is infinity at r greater than a which means that this potential is uh, zero inside the well and outside the well this is infinity it is very very high okay so now we will solve the schrodinger equation using the separation of variables as you have as you may have studied and uh, we obtained this this r and this theta and then phi and then the define the energy eigenvalues also okay so the energy eigenvalue will be like this this one we will get like this but you can see we will see that uh, considering this degeneracy again their number will be uh, something like that but this is not matching our magic numbers we know that the uh, we have the magic number is the completely filled structure of the nucleus but if this is true if the win infinite well model is the real potential of the uh, nucleus then the each shell should have the same magic number values or consecutively uh, the shell completeness should be observed here but clearly this is not the uh, magic numbers now we consider some more smooth potential the harmonic potential model since we know that there is no abrupt change in the nuclear potential or nuclear force when we go to the nucleus so that is why we assume a smooth potential model that is the harmonic potential we know the potential form we have r is equal to 1 by 2 k r square again we solve the Schrodinger equation and we find the uh, energy eigenvalue and the wave function here we consider the energy eigenvalue and we know the solution for the three dimensional case the solution en is equal to n plus 3 by 2 h cross omega 0 or h nu okay so uh, so the energy will be like this this like this see so this is the case then what is the de degeneracy you can see the degeneracy here it is one here it is three so here it is six here it is ten here it is uh, fifteen and like that okay then again uh, we, we can compare these two so this is the infinite well model infinite well model prediction of the various shells and this is the harmonic uh, oscillator model prediction of the energy values so you can see here this the first energy level contain this two then this one contain the six this one contain the ten this one two then fourteen and like that just like the electronic, the yes shell uh, contain the two number of nucleons and P, uh, the six number and the D, ten number and then the CF1, the 14 number, unlike that, here also unlike that. But, please note the infinite well model here, this first three magic numbers are okay. This is two, complete field. 
this is again 8, this is 20, so the next uh, magic number is 28, then 50, then 82 and above. So up to 20 it is okay. Again using the harmonic oscillator also up to 20 it is also, it is okay. This 2 is okay, then this 8 is okay, then 20 is okay. Above that, the magic number property or the, the real observed completeness property cannot be explained using this uh, potential model. So, we take another potential or we modify this potential to get more realized potential. So that is the intermediate potential model. Intermediate of both models, both the infinitual model and the uh, the other one, the harmonic potential. The smoothness is also there, and some deep uh, depth is also there. That is the intermediate potential model, and it is represented like this: v of r is equal to minus v zero divided by one plus exponential of R minus R bar A. So this is the intermediate potential model. Using this also, we solve the Schrodinger equation and find the energy eigenvalues, and it is like this one. You can see this one s, one p, one d, two s, one f, two p, and like that. Again, the number of nucleons possible, you can see this S may contain two number of nucleons, this one P contain, may contain six number, and one D10, again two S2, then on F14, I like that. So, again, cumulating this, uh, this number of nucleons in a particular region of levels, this is two. The first one is 2, this, is, this matches the magic number, again this one 8, this again matches the magic number, and this one 20, this again matches the magic number, again there is no 28, there is no 50, there is no 82 like that. So here also, here again, if it is going to some more realized potential, even though it is more realized potential, the magic number again cannot be explained more than 20. So there is some mistake is there. Or some more additions are needed, some more modification is needed. Okay. So later scientists explained just like what happened in atomic case, in nuclear case also the spin orbit coupling is the reason and the spin orbit coupling resolve the energy levels further and this coupling is represented using this this potential of the spin orbit into l dot s where this l represents the uh, the orbital quantum number and this s1 the spin quantum number. So that uh, the each level, the each uh, previously obtained level of the intermediate potential model again split into two uh, with j is equal to uh, the total spin is equal to l plus s and j is equal to l minus s. Just like what is happening at the atomic world. So according to their energy again, as they split, there will be a small energy difference. So according to their energy, some sp split levels go downward and some upward. As usual, this j is equal to l plus s goes upward and j is equal to l minus s goes downward. And uh, hence, we see uh, the what will be the number of, and we see that they exactly produce the magic numbers. They exactly produce the magic numbers. So this is that case. So this was the our intermediate potential, this bluish one. Now this is uh, split into two. So one potential, the split, one splitted potential is going to this side and all the 
onto the side. So due to this reason, this interaction, this spin orbit interaction or spin orbit coupling, the energy levels are further split. So we will see the result again. So this is the result. So this is the intermediate uh, potential well model prediction. And now due to the spin orbit coupling or spin orbit interaction, the, the P, D, F levels are split into two since S equal to zero for the S equal to zero for the state. So this remains singlet. So this, there is only one S1 by two, but this uh, the P level split into two, oh sorry, this three by two the, with the maximum angular momentum or maximum spin, it is going to downward as I uh, against I uh, explained earlier and uh, with less angular momentum goes upward. So this is one P three by two and one P one by two. And you can see this, uh, this contain two into uh, this, this angular 2j plus 1 as usual 2 into 2j plus 1 number of uh, nucleons are possible in each level so that is why this 1 s 1 by 2 may contain 2 number and this 1 p 3 by 2 may contain this 4 number and 1 p 1 by 2 again contain 2 number then 1 d 5 by 2 contain 6 number then 1 d 3 by 2 contain 4 number then uh, between this one you can see this is 2s 1 by 2 so this combined again 2 then 1 of 7 by 2 and this, this is 8 and 1 of 5 by 2 combined this 6 number so unlike that so you can see there is some penetration of the levels so see it you will see this d levels this the up level goes above the two years level and similarly this one of up level that means one of five by two level goes above the two p level and like that so due to this kind of splitting this kind of splitting of uh, the levels due to the spin orbit coupling the this magic numbers are exactly produced you can see this is 2 this is 8 then 20 then 28 then 50 then 82 then 126 then 184 and above so this uh, this drawing this sketch is uh, not an arbitrary one but you can find that this level the splitting level depends on their l value this energy difference is depends on their l value and uh, based on that energy level or the energy difference this is drawn so this is an exact one exact prediction and this matches the experimental results so we assume that we could explain using this potential and with the spin orbit interaction the magic numbers and completely fill the structure of nucleons hence we can say that a nucleus almost uh, obey the shell model or it is just like an atomic case and to, for easiness you can follow this configuration to study this level the order of this level this is first the one s first the one s level then this one p level this is the one p level then the one d level this is the one d level then the two s level this after one d there is this is the two s level then this is the one f level then this is the one g level for after the one g this is uh, just then goes to directly go to 2d level so after 1g level this goes to 2d level then again to 3s then to 1h then again it 
uh, directly go to 2F level, then to 3P, then to 1I, and like that. Just what we did in atomic case, but in atomic case, it was totally different. It was 1S, then 2S, 2P, then 3S, 3P, 3D, but it is somewhat different. But it is uh, very easy to write this one using this one. And we have to uh, understood which levels are going upward, penetrating this one. Just like this, uh, the upper D level goes uh, above the 2S level. And here also, the upper 1F level goes above the 2P level, and like that. So we have to study or a few of these in their penetration case so that we can write. We can write this uh, configuration, this order of configuration, really easily.